side, five mature bulls and one young one on the other side directly opposite from camp, which is good because we haven't seen anything over there the last couple of days. But they're all well up on top of the grass heading back to the cliffs. There's no way we're going to catch up to them today. Just spied a couple of big old boys, but they are a long way away. They are way, way down there. Good for an afternoon hunt, that cloud's hanging around, but it's not too low. Now we've got multiple options, we could head up that creek, or we could head up there, or there, or up there. The clouds start to lift, right on time tonight we're just going to nip across the creek and hunt the bluffs opposite camp, because we saw quite a few animals, we saw tar up there tar up here, tar up here, and some more tar down that way somewhere. We also saw some real good bulls way across there. Not that far actually, about two and a half K, but to get from here to there, it's an all day mish. I think we're just gonna leave those ones. Hopefully though, we'll get across the creek, keep our boots dry. Good shoulder straps are down here. Flopping around. Yeah. You mean the gun's flopping? No, even without the gun. Oh, good Australian good. design. That's the way it is. Yeah, but I'm taller, so I fill mine out a bit better. No, nah, Nick still does that. Look. See? It's fine though, because it makes it comfy. Oh, the rocking. Yeah, when you go up a hill. Should we grab the longer one? The do of dookiness. Good, you made the ship. Nah, it's that one there. I'll probably go tuned that way. Whoa! <laughs> That's a good pile of dookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my big pile of poo, saving it up. I shit there first, oh? and then Dad went and took another two shits on top of it. That's <laughs> a goodie, eh? If you come back up this way, watch out for the massive pile of poo there. There's a bit of a stick looking after it. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit's right. Oh yeah, quick berry stop, there we go. Mm. Uh, uh, fun and games. Where are you off to, Charlie? It's this way. What? <laughs> Charlie's going the wrong way. I don't know where he's off to. We did fly the drone up here and it kind of looked like we could jump across in a few bits, but kind of not. Yeah, nah, maybe. We we'll have to go way down there if we want to jump across though. There is a Jesus option here, but it's high risk if you fall in. Risk getting fully wet, getting the shit kicked out of you down here. You'd ungracefully flounder ashore down there, but completely soaked if you cock it up. The safe option to wade across means waist deep water, freezing cold, wet, everything. Uh, 
I reckon I could get across a piece of piss, but these fellows' legs aren't quite as long as mine. So, Charlie's anyway. Including the water system. Broken up 1080 pallet there. Right in the creek bed, way up high in the tussock. And Nick and Zoe have found about three or four others too scattered around the place. Pretty disappointing. New Zealand Department of Conservation, Government, Parking Wardens. Hey Charlie, do you want me to give me a pack? Yeah. If you can have your run, you'll make it and then get your hands on the top. You go first, then you can me. Okay. No, you can do it, just jump across. Easy. Please fist. See? That's a consequence for cocking this up, not too bad, bit of a flat pull. Horizon line. Consequence You do not want to go over there because you'd probably die. See that chart? Yeah. Do you think about that? Hmm, dry boots or broken leg, or dry boots and broken leg. Well, if you can break your leg, get wet boots as well, or just get wet. It's a hard one. Way up that risk. No worries, mate. There we go, a bit of teamwork. We're all across the river with relatively dry boots. Slightly risky maneuver, but managed. No animals moving yet. We're going to stay together because the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Who's your friends and my friends and my friends are your friends? The more we get together, the happier we'll be. We're going to sit here in glass and keep our options open. Got one on the face behind us where we've just come from. Up the bloody hill. We're just going to climb right up, right up high. And hope that we see him come down before it gets dark. I think they might be coming down in the dark because it's not even that cold at the moment. Oh, I've just seen a young bull come down about 80 metres in front of us, 100 metres. But he's not very big. Maybe 10 inches if we're lucky, so we're just gonna let him go. Unless Zoe wants to shoot him. And then uh, yeah, hopefully some more mature ones will come down. So we might just push around a little bit. I know it's hard, he can see us. I don't know what to do here. We did see two mature balls come over this hump this morning, so hopefully. We got a bull on our left, Nanny on our right. The bull on our left seen us, but he doesn't care. He's just eating, and the nanny on our right looks like an old girl. She's whistling at us, and we're just going to take a punt, push up around the corner. We're walking towards the young bull, we're hoping that he doesn't freak out and alert anything above us, because we did see two older boys up here this morning, so. Exciting? Yeah, my hands are shaking. 
She shot it right in the tar, exactly where she was aiming. Smoked it. Wow, so we went right past those two bulls. Lucky that he popped over to check us out. Just high, oh, got him. Nice. Nick, you and I both pull mm. next him. Oh, he's still going down. He's... <laughs> Memories to last a lifetime. Great representative trophies there. They're not monster balls, but that's Zoe's first tar, so we'll let her get away with that. He ran, I tried to make a run shot because he was wounded, and he ran up and he stopped, and Nick and I both pull waxed him. Bumpa. He's going to have a massive hole in there. Well, she's getting dark. Hopefully we'll get them both. We'll definitely get that one over there that they got on the second shot. So they've got quite a bit of work ahead of us now before we head down the hill in the night. Stoked. Stoked as. Right. Two way? Yeah, bro. Is that what I took? How was that, bro? Is that pretty exciting? Unbelievable. Look at, look at where we are, you can't really see, but... I think Zoe's so excited, she's just gonna <laughs> chew it to death. Yeah. Rip it straight out or something, look at her, she's way over there, off she goes. Zoe's, Zoe's first call, Lord River Bulltar. <laughs> and it's just starting to clag in now. So we've come over to where, where Zoe's pegged her ball. And it's, it's not here, but it's probably just gone straight down the hill. There's a chance it's, uh, it's still kicking too. Be really careful on these rocks, guys, that you don't start sliding, eh, on this hard rock. It's super sketchy. So we're just going to try to find where she first shot it and go from there. We found Zoe's bull. He's taken off down the side here, so we're just going to go finish him off. He's in this creek. He's down on his gut below us in the creek. Hopefully he's still recoverable. Recoverable. We can't see him though, he must have fallen and wedged himself in. Pretty dangerous point for Charlie. Just go bro, you're right. Don't just don't fall down. Nice. Oh sniffer hounds on the trail. Zoe's down in front of us. He barreled down here, but we haven't seen him yet. Good skills mate. Alright, try to go down the hill without falling and dying. Again, bro? Yeah. We can hear him, he's in the air somewhere. Weren't you just over here? Yes. I oh there he is, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't do it buddy, oh no. Oh, no. Right Charlie, where's that gun? Right here. Oh he might go 12, come on over here bro. He's gut shot. I just didn't see it. Yeah, he was up on the cliff. Unreal. Right, come a bit close, bro, and just peg him right in the shoulder there. Smoke it. Woohoo! All right, we got him. Yeah, go and uh, Thank you, Charlie. give him a little pat on the head. We might have to kick him down the hill before we deal to him. Right, be real careful there, Zoe. Eh? Is it still a cliff? Roll the skins out tonight. Nick's still up the hill above us, and uh, Zoe's stuffed the skin and the head in her pack, and we've taken heart in the back stakes. This is why we don't take the whole animal down, folks, because we've just got the skin in the head, and as you can see, she's pretty bloody heavy. We still got some pretty steep shit to go up and down. I think we can probably just go. Oh, <laughs> there's a cliff there. What the hell? I'm sure I look down. Oh, yeah, we can get down there. I that way, I think. I look down. I was like, no. Can't we? I what? thought we could. 
Yeah, I thought we could. Pretty sure we'll go that way. I look down there, I was like, no, I'm going down there. Don't go too fast, Char, because I don't have a head torch, so I can't actually. I know. No, no nice screes on the west coast, not like the east coast. Canterbury, bro, we'd just be straight down the hill barreling it down. Alright, Nick's come down and joined us. You found your ball, eh, bro? That stopped. Looks like it, it's got a heavy yeah, pack. I stopped to have a rest and I turned around and it was about two metres from me. Moon! Halfway home, buddy. Halfway home. Hard yakka, eh? Be down here, eh? right, here we are, Charles. Shine your torch this way, bro. It's a raging torrent we've got across. Doesn't look that raging, but down that way is a big waterfall. Shine your torch down there, bro. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit sketchy, all right. This is the crux of the day. Getting back across the river, getting this way wasn't too bad because we went from a high rock to a low rock. We've got to go from a low rock to a high rock. Zoe's got a super heavy pack, probably 25 plus kg. <coughs> and Charlie's got short little legs, so we're just going to bridge that rock and then help him over from there instead of wading through waist deep in water. There we go, we made it across all's well that ends well. How's that? No worries. Oh, heavy week. <laughs> Pretty heavy pack, eh? Hey? Oh, 30 plus yeah. kilo. Yeah, Just gotta be careful for these last five minutes. That's quite often when the accidents happen. You've you've got through the tricky bit and you relax a bit and then whammo. Home sweet home. No. Nah. Oh, smells, smells like it. Whew. Holy shit. Thank you. Oh, thank Holy you. Holy shit. Good work, team. Good work, Char. Champion. Epic day on the hill. Right. Let's see the surprise, Nick. <laughs> oh, what's going on, Char? Okay. Nick reckons his bull has a lot of character. <clears throat> it's not, um,. As big as the first one he shot. I reckon he's got one horn. One. I didn't even think of that. <coughs> Reveal. Oh, oh, he's in a bag, so I'll pull the bag out. Oh, the suspense. Do you need a hand? Do you want me to hold the bag? The cliffhanger. Woo. Oh, the old one horn wonder. Have you grabbed that yeah. torch? Yeah. Such is old, old damage. Mate, look at that. What a score. Look how big. What a score. That'd be real cool as a head mount, hey? Oh, one story. horn tar. Wonder how big he is. Is he big, Dad, or not? Um, well, Dad did that thing with his hands and it's over 10. Nice. He's not like a small one. Or 12 inches. <laughs> this episode of tar hunting up the Lord. Number two block is proudly brought to you by Waka Changi. I reckon Waka oh, does it the best. Thank you. <clears throat> Actually, that was a relatively easy tar hunt, wasn't it, lads? <laughs> Relax all day, eat the bacon and eggs, play some cards, nip off late afternoon, shoot a couple of tar, back to camp for some Waka Changis. Back to camp by nine. Woo! I grabbed yours instead of mine and I thought, oh, these are really big. Oh, mate, look at that. Let's get out of here, Charlie. Let's get up, pack up. Get a hold of Matt on the DeLorme from Precision Helicopters and come pick us up. What do you reckon? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, mean. The other guys are up. Got the fire going. And look at that sky. Another cloud to be had. Another day in paradise. Yep. And I was like, shit. So when Dad started pinching my nose to wake up, I thought it was a dream. So all of a sudden I just went, whack. I remember when we went free diving for the first time with him. And then we were going <laughs> COVID. And the diving went away. And, I was, and we were tar hunting. <laughs> Oh, he cocked that up. Pack it up. Packed up, waiting for chopper. We could stay in here for another couple of days or the rest of the week and keep cruising around, but we're only the first party in here, first period, and there's a lot of people coming in hunting after us, so we're just going to leave the rest of the animals for everyone else, and team all got a bull each, and out we go. I didn't see the 14, 15 inch one I wanted to shoot, or maybe I did, that might have been him. Way over there, but it's too far to go. Be a day's bashing through scrub just to get over there. If you're in the Lambert block, you can actually nip over the saddle, and then get round, cut round that face over to there to get that big massive one that I saw. I'm just assuming he's massive. He's too far away to see how big his horns were. Done. See you, Charlie. Yeah, mate, have a good run. You too, mate. Make yeah. sure whenever you go flying, only with bald pilots, mate. They're way safer, okay? okay. <laughs> See you, boy. Take it easy. See you, mate. Take it easy. Thanks, guys.